Welcome back to part two of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way, featuring our special guests. Now let's dive right back into the conversation and continue exploring their incredible journey. Can you think of events in your head, key significant events that have, um, that you remember feeling fear? 100%. Yep. How many? Just so I can come back and say, hey, do you remember you think you feeling five of them or whatever it is, three, two, um, just because you may come back and you may forget. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. No. Um, and I can do ones in the last, in the, in, as an adult as well. Right. It, all of them. Yeah. Which ones are the most significant? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Um, how about, Six or seven. Good. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to come back and I'm going to okay, say, hey, Andrew, do you remember those six or seven that you remembered? Mm -hmm. How are they now? Yeah. Okay. And you're going to let me know. Okay. Cool. So I'll get you, I'm just going to take a sip of water and I'll just get you to get comfortable if that's okay. And for you to close your eyes. I usually play music through the, through my microphone to yours. Okay. Um, but in this case, it's okay. We, we won't need it. Okay. So I get you to close your eyes. Take some deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. That's right. And Andrew, with every breath that you take, you're getting more and more relaxed more relaxed. And I want you to imagine, because I know that you've got really good imagination skills, that your body is just so relaxed. The muscles around your neck are getting so relaxed. The muscles around your shoulders are getting so relaxed. And it's like that moment when you just put your body into a spa. And the relaxation just spreads everywhere like wildfire. Just like that. So relaxed. And your body's feeling so heavy yet so light at the same time. Your shoulders feeling like jelly. Down to your chest. Down to your abdomen. Down to your waist, down to your knees all the way down to your toes, feeling so relaxed. The muscles around your jaw are feeling so heavy and so relaxed. Around your head. It feels like you're floating, yet sinking at the same time, just like you're in a spa. The muscles around your eyes are feeling so heavy and so heavy and stuck. So stuck that you can't even open them, even if you tried. Andrew, I want you to get into your subconscious. I want you to walk down a spiral staircase. And this spiral staircase goes all the way down into your subconscious. I want you to be aware of what you're wearing, how the staircase looks, the noise it makes when you walk down the staircase, round and around the spiral staircase into your subconscious, round and around. Further and further, round and around, deeper and deeper. And as you're getting deeper and deeper, Andrew, you can still hear me, but you're getting a lot wiser as well. You're, you're conscious of my words, but you're in your subconscious. You're getting wiser and wiser as you go down into your subconscious, the place where everything knows. Your subconscious is like this big hard drive that keeps memory of everything. It's so wise beyond its years. It's highly intelligent. And at the bottom of the stairs, Andrew, you're going to notice you're in a child. It's that little, it's that little part of you that often speaks to you and you don't even know. It's been wanting to connect, waiting for you to connect with round and around. And at the bottom of the stairs, at the bottom of your subconscious, you reach your inner child. You reach little Andrew. 
I want you to hold his hand. And I want you to notice his presence, his innocence, his grace, the way that he looks at you with love, with awe. How old is he, Andrew? Six. He is six. Andrew, you're in a child, little six-year-old Andrew, knows everything. And you've come to him for some wisdom. You've come to him because he wants to, because you want him to solve your problem. You ask him, hey, when was the first time that I felt this fear? At what age? That once disconnected will help disconnect the rest of my fear, my unwarranted fear, from that moment all the way up until today. And what age does he tell you? Could you say that last bit again? That's okay. When was the when was the first event of you feeling fear? Eight. Eight. Good. Good. So I want you to hold his hand and he takes you up higher and higher, you're floating higher and higher, you're still in your, in your subconscious but you're floating out of your body and you can see your body sitting on the chair, you can see your mic, you can see yourself with the headphones having your eyes closed and he's going to take you to that event of eight. Now, where, where did he take you and what are you seeing? To a car park. Good. Are you able to tell me what it is or is this something private? Private. Good. Can you go into the event? Can you tell me if you can feel fear? Good. It's there? Mm -hmm. Good. Yep. Good. I want you to get out of that event. I want you to look down on that event. But I, I want you to no longer see that event from an eight-year-old Andrew. I want you to see it now from a, a wiser and older Andrew. But before you do that, Andrew, what would eight-year-old Andrew, what would his beliefs be in that event at that moment? How would he feel about himself? In, in the moment of the car park. Yep. When he's feeling that fear, how would he be feeling about himself? What beliefs would he have? God, I don't know. It's okay. China. If, if no. that was one of your children... What beliefs would you say that they have about themselves? Insecurity. Good. So I want you to swap back to your body. What beliefs would you have about you? Insecurity. Good. Yep. Are there, are there more or is that it? Um, Self-doubt. Self-doubt. Good. Um, I know that's not how it appears on the outside. No, that's okay. You're doing really well, man. And I just want to thank you for being so vulnerable and open because not a lot can do this. And only, only the strong and the courageous can do this because I know a lot of people that I work with, um, they all feel the same and they feel that they're alone. So mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you. So back to that event. Um, 
yeah, what 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 beliefs, what other beliefs would you say that you have about yourself? Sh- shy. Shy, uh, yep. Is that a belief? Uh, uh, so is it a state? Yeah, if you, it's it's a belief. If you if you um you can have a belief that you are a shy person. I, I was. Yeah. At that point in time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know that changed, <laughs> but I was, was n- nervous. Nervous, good. And yep. Scared. Nervous and scared, good. Um, and confused. Confused, yep. Mm-hmm. What are some negative traits that you believed about you in that event? Hmm. Such a what would a person with self doubt, no, with being nervous and scared and confused, what do you think they would unconsciously believe about themselves? What what negative traits? I would they be like limiting beliefs about themselves? Probably. Cool. Yep. I guess so. Yeah, that's okay. Limiting beliefs. Yep. Um, anything else? I don't want it to be my words. What are what are some what are some things that you that you could see? Just questions. I needed questions. I wanted to know answers, yep. but I didn't know what questions to ask because I was young. Yeah. So would it be something around the, like being worthy of knowing what those answers were? Yeah, but I know they weren't, I I was too young to ever understand them at that point. Of course. Yep. So I know why now I didn't get them or necessarily need them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But at the, but at the, at, at the moment, what were they? Was it um, like you not deserving of knowing or was it scared of knowing it? Mm. Whatever it means to you. I don't know. It's such a tough question. Um, I'm okay. trying to take myself time back to that, that point in time. Mm-hmm. What I want you to do is I want you to float in that event. Mm-hmm. Float in that young boy's body, mm-hmm. looking through his eyes, seeing what he's seeing, hearing what he's see- hearing, and feeling what he's feeling. What is he feeling about himself? I remember feeling nervous and scared and strange. Good. S- strange was probably the the biggest one. It was strange. strange. So can you t- tell me a little bit more about strange? Is it like a strange feeling, but what is the feeling of strange? It was a scenario that I'd never heard anybody else go through before. Okay. And then I found myself in it. Mm-hmm. Strange. And I think I, probably deep down I always knew it was going to happen at some point Mm -hmm. does that help it does so did you feel different in that moment I felt like all eyes were on me all eyes were on me Mm -hmm. wow and when you felt that all eyes were on you how did that make you feel Weird. Weird. What What's the feeling of weird? That I never experienced that feeling before. That's why it was weird. What would that What would that feeling be? It was to do with connection. 
So you felt that you weren't connected? Oh, for sure. But felt like I should be. Cool. And that feeling of should be connected, is that hurt? Yes. Cool. So you've got fear and hurt intertwined. Yes. Together. Mm -hmm. Cool. And because you were hurt, what self talk did you have about yourself? Self worth. Yep. That you didn't have much of self, like you, that you didn't have a lot of self worth. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I didn't have it. A bad life though. No, I know. No, no, no. This isn't about having a good or a bad life. No, I know. I, but I feel like I probably got everything I needed emotionally. Yeah. Um, it doesn't change the way that you felt at that moment. No, I know. Yep. I'm trying to imagine myself what I felt that day. It's really hard because it was such a long time ago. That's okay. I don't want you to try and remember it mm. um look i've got a lot that's that's okay that's all good you're doing a really good job what i want you to do now is i want you to float up looking at that event looking at like you're replaying a movie mm. but no longer from a i'm a, no longer from an eight-year-old i want you to do it from the eyes of an older and wiser Andrew today with a parent, with his own children. And I want you to, to learn something or probably see something different, something that you probably haven't seen before. You mentioned that as the eight-year-old, you would have seen self-doubt you were confused, you had limiting beliefs, all eyes on me, and you didn't feel connected, you felt hurt. Now that you're an older and wiser Andrew with a par as a parent, now what are you learning new about you that would help you let go of this fear and the hurt? that I wouldn't want an eight-year-old boy, my eight-year-old boy to feel like that in that moment. Mm -hmm. What are you learning about you? What are the positive learnings that you're learning about you that maybe through the eyes of an eight-year-old may seem scary, may seem daunting, but now that you're looking at it from a higher point of view, what I want you to do is I want you to float higher and higher and I want you to minimize your timeline. So it's the size of a one centimeter timeline. So you can look at your whole timeline all in one centimeter. What are you learning about that event? That it doesn't have to be a defining one. Good. But what are you learning about you? What are you learning on the contrary that you told me that, that you were before? What are you learning about your self-doubt and your limiting beliefs? That I'm able to move past it? No, I can't remember. What are you learning about it now? Join us tomorrow to hear more from today's incredible guests and learn valuable insights to help you lead your own way. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you then.